John from California, you have asked me to take a look at a fully renovated triplex that you found on the Cleveland MLS. John, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, John from California, my man. You have purchased another analysis from me. Thank you, brother. Uh, really quickly, for everyone else uh, that is watching this, today right now, it is actually April 1st, 2019. I say that for a couple reasons. Number one, uh, I'm currently sitting in my office right now, so if you hear any uh, noise or anything like that uh, in the background, that's just my staff. Obviously, first of the month, that's an incredibly busy day here uh, in the property management business. Um, you know, the majority of the tenants, you know, they come in, you know, when they come in to pay rent, this is the day they do it. Uh, that's the first thing I want to let you all know. Number two, if you're not John from California and you're watching this video, this deal probably not available anymore. You're probably watching this one, maybe two months uh, after John has seen this. Uh, again, right now, as I'm talking to everyone, it's April 1st. So depending on what you know, who you are, uh, you know, you'll see when I launch this video. When we do these analysis products, you pay for the analysis product. I analyze the deal. I analyze everything. If I'm looking on the MLS for you, I do all of that for you and I send it to you in a private link. Uh, I would never allow someone to come in, use my analysis uh, for their benefit to purchase the property out from under you right because unless you've put these on uh under contract through the wholesaler for sale by owner uh or perhaps through the listing agent you know uh the deal is very much active so i wouldn't want anybody to use what you've paid for to purchase the deal however i always produce all of these i always make them all public down the road uh for those of you who aren't ready to you know make your first purchase yet or aren't ready to spend that money just yet uh, or just for those cheap dudes out there who don't want to pay uh, who don't want to pay for any of my services. That's cool. Uh, it's cool if you're a cheapo out there. That's fine. That's why I want to provide, you know, pre present <clears throat> rather all this free content for you. Uh, but just so you know, you know, it's going to be someone else's content and you're a little down the road. So if you want that personalized stuff specifically for you, you want personal one-on-one -on -one attention with me, you're going to have to pay the man uh, like my dude, John from California did. Uh, with all that spiel in mind, too, just so everyone is aware, uh, you may recall I sent out an email telling everyone that a guy named John from California uh, did an, paid for an analysis on 4821 Bridge. If you guys recall, that was those four townhomes. Super, super nice. Great neighborhood. Uh, that deal was 100% James Wise approved. Uh, but going back and forth through John, it wasn't something he wanted to do in his portfolio at that time. Uh, he felt um, that he should look into something else. The property I'm analyzing right now uh, was that property. Uh, but then John went out of his way and he sent me a, a separate email, you know, completely unprovoked. He said, hey, man, I'm not going to move forward with the deal. But you know what? I want you to go ahead and release that right now while the deal's still active. I want other investors to get the opportunity to see that. Maybe they want to buy it. I'm a fan of the show. I want to, you know, help out the greater good, help out all the other investors out there. So, uh, you know, I just want you guys to know that John's a good dude and he helped a lot of you guys out there and you may see him uh, up and down the comments on YouTube. So if anyone got a lot of value out of that bridge property, thank John from California. He's going to be out there on YouTube. You'll see him in the comments if he lets you guys know who he is on the comments of this video. I want you guys to thank him because he hooked you guys up and he uh, let me send that analysis out to you guys early while that property was still available. Uh, all that. Moving on, though, to this property. What are we doing? What do we have here? 1335 West 61st, Cleveland 44102. Price, $330,000. This is a triplex. And, uh, John, dude, you love uh, quality products, right? You know, as you've told me in the past, you're a high W-2 earner. 
you know, you're an accredited investor. You've currently invested only in funds. This is your first direct ownership. Uh, you're making the plunge to your first direct ownership uh, of a rental property. So you are <clears throat> looking at the highest end stuff we have in the market. You don't want to deal with tenants from hell, stuff like that. You want something safe and solid. That's why you, uh, you, know, you were interested in that bridge property, and that's why you're interested in this one. This one is super high end as well. Uh, this one is listed by a couple realtors. I've done deals with both these dudes, uh, Chris and Tim. They're from a company called Russell Realty Services out here in Cleveland. Uh, these dudes are some good dudes. Um, you know, I, I know they both do a little bit of investment, but I think both of them uh, primarily focus on traditional residential real estate. Uh, but, you know, that's what most realtors uh, focus on. That's why you guys are here on this channel. That's why you're subscribed to this channel. You want to talk to a guy who's, uh, you know, only focuses on, you know, these properties as, you know, monetary investments. That's what we do. Uh, and I don't know anybody else who caters to investors uh, who are, you know, all over the world, California, New York, wherever, everyone's watching this. So that's why you're here. Uh, but let's get into the actual investment. Uh, here's the triplex. What I like about this is uh, the two big units. We got two side-by-side -side units here. Let's make this a little bigger for you guys. You see that? Tommy, how's that look on the screen? Great. All right. It was Tommy's birthday uh, the other day. Uh, he went out and uh, he partied up with his brother, my video guy, Tommy. He partied with his brother. So he's coming in here on Monday a little under the weather. Tommy's a young guy. He just got out of college. Uh, so if you hear Tommy's voice in the background sounding all raspy, I guess he had some uh, college partying. You know how them kids do. Anyway, back to the property. So side by side. I like that. That's awesome. It looks great. You know, it's beautiful. Uh, what they've done to this, you know, it's, it's looking pretty good. As you can see, you know, they got the agreeable gray, hardwood floors refinished, white trim. I love it open concept right here but they left some of this brick right here uh you know looking good man one of your questions to me john specifically in your email um do, 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 where is it okay one of your specific questions uh you said they use your white trim and agreeable gray but you have a better eye for the bathroom and the kitchen than me uh, so you want to know what my opinion are on the renovations that they did, what my opinion of their renovations is. Selling some of your smaller real estate holdings is a great way to raise the funds necessary to maximize the growth of your real estate portfolio. A 1031 exchange can benefit you greatly by allowing you to defer your capital gains tax so you can use those funds towards the purchase of more real estate instead. You are going to need a qualified intermediary in your corner. Dave Foster is a degreed accountant with a track record of successfully serving as a qualified intermediary for thousands of clients. Dave and his team would love the opportunity to see if a 1031 exchange is right for you. To set up a free consultation with Dave and his team, call 850-889-1031 or visit the 1031investor.com. Everything I'm seeing so far, you know, the living room, the dining room, you know, they've crushed it. I would not change a thing. These dudes, they did exactly what you need to do. Uh, so everything that I've seen so far is perfect. As for the kitchen, I freaking love what they did with the kitchen here, right? They got a very open concept, okay? I like the flooring they put in there. I, you know, I like this backsplash, you know, you got this open, open concept, stainless steel appliances, everything is looking very modern. Like this is the look that you need to, to accomplish for this neighborhood, right? This neighborhood, 1335 West 61st. This is like a very, very trendy area in Cleveland. This is 100% an A-class neighborhood. Like, if you guys are watching this video, John, if you're watching this video, right, and, you know, you're looking at the Cleveland market and you're hearing things like, oh, the resurgence of Cleveland, you know, things like that. They're talking about the resurgence of the Cleveland market. They're specifically talking about a couple uh, niche neighborhoods, right? Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, right? That's where you are when you're buying this property. And like the demographic that you're renting to, you're renting to like professionals, okay? Right, like Cleveland itself, the actual city of Cleveland, just so you're aware. 
the school districts are not are not awesome, right? Like you don't move to the city of Cleveland because you're interested in the school districts. If you if you look it up, right, you can go to a website like citydata.com or you know just Google, you know, school districts in Northeast Ohio. You'll see that the actual city of Cleveland, the school districts suck, right? They're 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 rated terribly. Um, so like if you have tenants that uh, like have children, you know, they're typically moving out of the city and they're going to uh, our suburbs, right? So if uh, you're looking for an A grade suburb uh, for, you know, you're looking to the suburbs for like A grade school districts and you're probably buying a home. What you have here, even though we got a crappy school district, you still have an A grade property though, because a lot of people are attracted to this neighborhood. They want to be close to that nightlife. They want to be close to downtown. They want to be close to the casino, to the queue. You know, the Browns are supposed to be really, really good this year, right? We got Odell Beckham Jr. We got Baker Mayfield, Jarvis Landry. I mean, we are stacked, right? So they want to be close to all that action, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, you know, you name it, right? These are the folks that want to be close to that action. So typically these folks, uh, I'm not saying none of them have children, but you know, it's, it's usually not families that are moving into these type of properties. It's young professionals, high paying jobs, college educated. They probably work downtown. And this is their style, right? You know, they tend to be on the lower end, right? Not a lot of people uh, above 40 um, that you're catering to in this high end market in this neighborhood. So the lower people, right? So you want to be, you know, super modern, super sleek. And this is what they did when they renovated this property. Uh, like stainless steel, like I love this 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 hood right here. I mean, that's a that's a big old fridge, and they love this open concept stuff. So, uh, as far as like the actual property itself, the renovations in the kitchen, they totally crushed that. Right, everything is good. What they did in the bathroom, this is great too. You know, just super modern. Like as a matter of fact, you know, I'm 31 years old, and my wife is uh, she's about to be 28 years old. Okay, just to give you, a, you know. On the age spectrum there and we have you know these types of uh handles these are in our property right so when you're you're hitting high earners in the in the lower age spectrum right this is the stuff they want to see like you got subway tiles around the tub you know that's great that's what i like to see um, i like everything about this rehab i think everything is you know beautiful we say like we got carpet right hardwoods are great for the main floor carpet in your bedrooms. Uh, I like that. Now, I know I tell a lot of you guys, um, hey man, don't, uh, don't do carpet necessarily because it's more expensive at turnover, which is true. But remember, you're catering to a super high-end market. I haven't even told you the rents yet, uh, but these are not your six, $700 units, man. You are catering to high-end professionals, so they're going to be nicer on the property, less wear and tear, and you know, you're, you're providing a luxury rental. Um, in exchange for a luxury tenant. So you gotta provide them nice luxury things. So like carpet in the bedrooms, it's much more preferred than the hardwoods. Um, so let's just go through the rest of these photos. Here's the other kitchen. Again, same, same overall style, open concept, stainless steel, undermount sink, you know, beautiful, fresh, modern. You know, I like the subway tile again, looking good. They've hit a home run with these two units. And this is the third floor unit. We'll get into that in a second. Both of those two units, just so you know, uh, those are rented already. They're shown empty in the photos, but those are already rented. Uh, unit two, that's rented. Make sure you're subscribed to our investor mailing list. We are going to send you an email with the latest investment properties for sale every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can expect a full video offering, just like what you've seen today, in every one of these emails. That's rented for twelve fifty a month. Unit three is rented for twelve ninety a month. So you're bringing in fifteen k and fifteen thousand four hundred eighty out of both of those units. I, you know, that's right there on the money. You're probably not really going to increase that too too much, um, just due to the size. Those are both two bed one baths. So that's pretty much right on the money. This unit, uh, much much smaller. This is your third floor unit. Uh, this is kind of like a bonus, right? You know, it's kind of like a duplex with this bonus thing. Um, this is your third floor, so you're not gonna get like extreme value out of this because it's just a small attic apartment. But again, the neighborhood's so cool. They made the finishes pretty cool. You know, it's very tiny as you can see, like this is the roof line right here, right? In the shower, you see that right there? So like we are dealing with a very, very small unit, 
but since the finishes are so nice and the neighborhood is so desirable, they were able to bring in 700 bucks a month out of that, so 8,400 a year. So the grand total of this um, investment here, 3,240 bucks a month, bringing that in right now, $38,880 a year is your scheduled rent. Um, will you receive 38,880 every single year? No, there's gonna be expenses. I will get into those. But why I have the photos up, John, I wanted to show you something really cool uh, that they did. All right, so this is a third floor unit, okay? This staircase, this is incredibly important. Going back <clears throat> to a wide view here of the kitchen, okay. The reason that staircase is so important, these homes are old. This one built 1910. I do not believe it was originally intended to be a triplex. To get it to be a triplex, to be a legal triplex, which this one appears to be so, one of the biggest things, the biggest things to prevent us from actually making those attics a third floor unit are the two forms of egress that are needed. As you'll see from this kitchen, we have one door exiting the property and we have a second door, which is going to go to that staircase that they added. They added this specifically for the purposes of making this a legal triplex without having this additional form of egress that, again, I believe was put in solely just so they could make that third unit rentable. Uh, that would be, you know, it's essentially like there's a decent chunk of duplexes that were converted that don't necessarily have those forms of egress. And uh, I've even seen some of them on the county auditor site uh, shown as three families, but Sometimes the city decides to enforce it. Uh, maybe like a tenant complains uh, about the property or you're filing for an eviction and they bring it up in court that there isn't that form of egress. And, uh, you know, I guess like more often than not, like the city on a lot of these, a lot of these are just skating by under the radar. Uh, and, you know, throughout the years, you know, the rules change. Um, and you could possibly get, get away with it for a while, but I have seen the city come down. I've had it happen to some of our properties where they do come down and they say, no, 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 unless you install this form of egress, not going to happen. We're shutting it down and they won't let you rent that unit anymore. With this, I believe you are totally covered. So that's an issue you don't need to worry about. Uh, so that was something I wanted to bring to your attention. And then just going through the rest of the pictures, we just got a garage here. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so all in all, I like the property. I love the neighborhood, man. This is a great neighborhood. The rents, you know, so far the gross rents, they sound like we're bringing in some money. $32.40 a month, $38,880 a year, um, fully occupied. And I think every single unit uh, that is currently being rented, I think it's being rented all at market rent. Now, <clears throat> let's break down the expenses, okay? Let's break down our expenses because we're not going to bring in $38,880 a year. It just does not work that way, okay? There's going to be some expenses, and uh, I want to show those to you. Now, repairs and vacancy. Typically, I estimate that at roughly 5% of your gross rents. When we're in an A-grade neighborhood like this, I, I go a little bit lower, right? A, everything on the property, you know, it's put together. It's looking beautiful. And B, again, high-end tenants, less turnover, less wear and tear on the property. So I cut that down in half. I estimated that at 2.5%. So I anticipate you're going to spend, on average, 81 bucks a month on those two items. Now, that does not mean January you're spending 81 bucks, February 81 bucks, March 81 bucks. Like It's going to be like zero for a long time, and then you'll get some big expenses uh, coming your way. Um, you know, This is just you estimating it out, right? Like... Unless it's taxes, insurance, it's like a fixed cost, the only thing we can do is estimate. But in my experience running a huge portfolio, that's a fair estimate uh, that you can reasonably expect with a large portfolio of like properties over the long haul. Capital expenditures, okay? That's saving money for your big things you know you're gonna have to purchase. Roof, right? Roof's gonna be like five, 6,000 bucks on a property like this, and you're gonna replace a roof every 30 years, okay? There ain't no roof that's gonna last 100 years, so every 30 years you gotta spend, you know, five or $6,000. Furnaces last about 30 years, those cost about $3,000. Hot water tanks cost a grand. 
So you're saving up, you're budgeting towards that because you can't just like assume that's all cash because you know if you own this for 30 years, you know you got that $6,000 roof coming up. So I want you to budget 162 bucks a month for those capital expenditures. The taxes on this are $1,711 a year. So budgeting 143 should cost us about two G's to insure this bad boy. So we're going to budget 166 a month on that. Water sewer, hardest thing in the world to uh, budget for, man. Uh, in the Cleveland market, you have to pay for water and sewer. There's no way to get around that. It's just, you have to. Go to HoltonWise.com. Go to my FAC. On the FAC, I've answered why you have to pay it. I get new investors all the time. I don't want to pay it. Can we separately meter it? Can we get rubs? This, that. I got this idea. I saw this in a book. I saw this on a podcast. You know, I saw landlording on autopilot or some shit like that. And uh, they said you could do this because I'm going to pass the water on to my tent. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck all that. You have to pay water and sewer. I've explained why on the FAC. So just check that out. I don't want to burn up time in this video, but like you got to pay water and sewer, right? I usually anticipate 75 bucks a month for a multifamily unit. Uh, some people take longer showers, more showers. Some people take less, but I think that's a fair estimate. Some will be high, some will be low. The third unit, that's like a you know a tiny little attic unit. So I cut that in half. Uh, you know, theoretically, two bed, one bath versus a tiny little attic unit. We should have half the amount of people, theoretically, half the amount of water usage. So estimated 187 and a half on our water sewer as far as lawn care goes multifamily property holding wise we got to take care of that uh, landscaping for you, you got to cut your grass we typically cut grass you know every 10 days or so uh, during the uh, warm months so we usually do like 16 cuts a year i believe so that's going to account to 504 bucks a year or you know i just estimated it for you 42 bucks a month and then of course you got to pay the man property management fees uh, we charge 10% of the rents. Um, we cap it at 100 bucks a unit. So those other two units that are renting for, what were they renting for, like 12 something, right? Those are each going to be 100, and then your third floor unit will be 70. So 270 a month. So bringing in every month, 3240 every single month on average. Again, that's an average. It's not going to be like that every single month, but on average, you should anticipate spending $1,132.50. So on average, every year, this property is going to bring in $38,880. And on average, it's going to cost you $13,590 to operate it. Now, a quick and dirty way to run numbers, right? Because I know that was a lot. A quick and dirty way that you could run numbers, it's called the 50% rule. Typically, that means on an average rental property, it's going to cost about half of your gross rents to operate a property. And uh, when you break all these down, typically that comes pretty close. Now on this one, you're gonna notice it's a lot less than the 50% rule. The only reason that is, is because this is an A-class neighborhood. The rents are incredibly high and the tenants do less damage. So if you're like in B and C-class neighborhoods, right? Like as the asset class goes down, right? The cost to operate are going to go up in comparison to the gross rents. So keep that in mind uh, when you're investing. So gross, 38880 a year on average, accounting for all of our uh, expenses. And, um, you know, I don't know if I mentioned it specifically, but I accounted another 81 bucks uh, for vacancy, non-payment of rent, so like evictions. You know, high-end tenants, evictions, probably unlikely but i'm not going to say that that'll never happen you know sometimes it, it could happen uh, we need to prepare for it very unlikely in an a-class neighborhood but should prepare so thirteen thousand five hundred ninety a year are expenses that brings us down to an noi the money you're going to make twenty five thousand two hundred ninety bucks a year on average or twenty one oh seven and a half a month on average you had like 10 of these properties over the long haul, that's what you can anticipate making. So, you know, making uh, 25 G's a year, that's not bad. How much money is it gonna cost you to make that 25 G's a year? Luckily for you, John, I have broke that down for you too, my man. Now, we only need to invest, uh, well, we, as far as cash goes, you don't have to actually invest 330,000, but like, you know, what you're putting into it, right, the actual purchase price, it's just 330,000. 
Normally, here is where I would uh, tell you about the repairs, renovations you need to make. Uh, but these guys, they deck this property out, man. This property is in great shape. Everything's been renovated. Um, just looking at you know their remarks, right? We've already gone through the pictures, but just going through their remarks, this is what the listing agent said. Turnkey three-family investment property in the heart of the Gordon Square Arts District. Fully rented at thirty-two forty gross rent a month. Property is a side-by-side -side duplex in a one-bedroom apartment on the third floor with separate entrance in back. Property underwent significant renovation in 2017, including siding, vinyl windows, concrete driveway, sidewalks, new heating and AC, electric panels, kitchens, baths, and flooring. Side-by-side -side units have their own private basements with new new ensuite laundry units. So like everything has been done for you. You literally don't have to put any upfront money into renovations. And um, I actually thought you would think this is cool. I actually found the old listing from uh, when the current owner actually purchased this thing. So this is what the property used to look like before they went in and they decked this sucker all the way out. It looks like shit, right? <laughs> like compared to what we're looking at, this looks fucking terrible. Um, so that like all the hard work has been done for you. Like this is just looks like a little hoopty ghetto ghetto thing. Um, you know, just grimy, gross. Uh, you know, it, it's not really that open. It's very closed off. Like if you looked on our, our current listing, like you see this wall right here. You know that is actually gone. So let me show you that right here, so you can see it. Da, all right, so like, you know, take a look. See that? Wall's totally gone, right? Totally different feel, right? Um, so that's, you know, they did all the tar hard work here. Like, you know, kitchen cabinets, this is just, you know, grimy, like low-end stuff. They totally decked this thing out. Uh, it's like night and day what they did to this property. Like the kind of tenant you're going to get that will live in a property that looks like this uh, versus what we have for us here today, it's night and day. Uh, here's an old shot of the basement um, from that previous listing. The old electrical panels before they upgraded them. Um, here's that attic apartment. So obviously it looks much, much nicer now, as you can tell. Uh, in the old rent roll, just so you know, like right before uh, all those renovations took place in the current guys, they bought it. You know, the, you know, the previous landlord, they were getting 400, 600, and 550. Uh, so drastic differences between the amount of money we could uh, rent these units for and the types of people we're going to attract. Because just so everyone knows, like the resurgence, like neighborhoods, Tremont, Ohio, City, Gordon Square, you know, these were all neighborhoods that were rough. And then we totally gentrified those. And people came in and they, they took properties like this that were beat up, old, rough. And, you know, they removed the low-income tenants out of them, totally decked them out to attract those high-end professionals. So it's like totally night and day. And that's how you go from a property looking all booty like this to this beautiful thing that we have for us here today. So they did all that hard work for you. I actually pulled it up too because like this was listed on the MLS at $99.9 uh, and nobody bought it. Um, so it actually expired. So it's not on the MLS, but I did pull it up anyway. So they eventually did go in and they purchased it. it wasn't listed on the MLS, but they did buy it for $99,000 on the dot. Uh, January 2018 they bought it for 99,000 and they did this huge renovation ever since and now today you know we get the opportunity for this beautiful looking property so 330,000 is what you need to invest to get that $25,000 a year in net operating income but I don't want you to pay cash right you know cap rate 7 7 that's great but I don't want you to pay cash I want you to stretch those funds utilize other people's money these guys, they did all that hard work. You don't have to worry about that. What I want you to do is put down $82,500 of your own money, get the rest, get the other $247,500 from the bank. So if you were to buy this and put down $82,500, you have a new mortgage payment. Now you gotta, you know, you gotta pay back the loan. So $1,254.05 a month or $15,048.60 a year. So after you pay off that mortgage, right? And actually, before I even give you that number, if you're wondering how I got those numbers, if you go over here, holtonwise.com, I want you to go to tools and resources. You go down here, mortgage calculator, and you could actually pump, punch in, you know, 
punch in the loan. You could run your own numbers, guys. Punch in the loan here, and it'll break out an amortization schedule for you. Uh, that's how I get all these numbers. So after you pay off all of your expenses and your new mortgages and your new mortgage payments, right, you're going to be bringing home in your pocket on average $10,241.40 a year or $853.45 a month. So you drop $82,500 of your own cash, and on average, you can anticipate bringing in more than $850 a month. That is a cash-on-cash cash return, 12.41%. That is a great return on your money, and it is very, very low risk. Now, again, I cannot stress this enough. I don't think you're going to get like $853 every single month. I cannot guarantee that. You know, it's real estate, things are moving, but you're mitigating your risk because you're buying in such a nice neighborhood. You're buying such a nice property, right? You know, this thing is beautiful. We're getting high-end tenants, um, and it's going to hold its value. You know, as far as that price point, that 330000 this property was listed originally for 340000 About four days ago, they actually reduced it down to that 330000 Currently, they are on the market for 53 days. I always run the numbers on these as if you're paying the current list price, right? Because there's no point to running the numbers at like 280 because we have no freaking clue if the seller is going to take 280 from you. Uh, but I, I think at 330, I think it's James Wise approved, of course. I love the deal. I like the neighborhood. Uh, but I think you could probably come in and still pick it up for a little less than that 330. They just dropped it down. They've been on the market 53 days. If you pull the comps, Quarter mile comps uh, in a six month uh, time frame here. This is what we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have six duplexes that have sold. The top two um, were 255,000, 257,000. Then we got another one at 255,000. Now, admittedly, the one that we're looking at is by far the nicest. Like, this is a nice property, but um, what we are currently looking at is much nicer. Like, this kitchen is nothing compared to the kitchen that we already have. So you'd have to spend probably 20, 20K or so into this unit uh, to get it to look like what they've presented to us. Um, so there's that. But if we go to the single families, right, we do have some high stuff here, right? We have... 189, 298, three and a quarter. You know, we got some new build stuff over here, all in the four to five hundred thousand dollar range. Uh, so I guess what I'm trying to tell you with the comps is, I think a great comp for this are other duplexes. I do put value into that third unit, right? You should spend, you know, a buck and a quarter at least for a duplex unit, right? So that puts us in the 250 range, 250, 260 range. Just to be with the other comps, you know, 250, 260 range, if it's just a duplex. I think you're gonna have to definitely pay a little bit extra for the high quality of work that they've put in, right? You could do like a bird deal uh, and only spend a little bit more money, like, you know, 20, 30K uh, on the actual units to go from like what we've seen on this comp right here to that and then refi it all out yourself but that's you doing a lot of work someone already did this work so you're gonna have to pay a premium for that so i think the fact that they did all of that work you know that probably brings us up in value my opinion probably another 40 to 50k which puts us in the three hundred thousand dollar range if it's a duplex and then of course they have that third unit which is bringing in 700 bucks a month in rent and it's already, uh, you know, decked out. It looks beautiful, and we don't have to worry about it ever being, you know, taken away by the city because they do have the egress. Uh, so based on that, based on our comps here, yes, it's going to be one of the more expensive properties, but you know, I think it's a justifiable price at 330. So if you did buy it at 330, I don't think you did bad, uh, but. It's on the market for 53 days and everything else is less. We could use these lower comps, being devil's advocate, when we present to them, we could use these lower comps uh, you know, as a reason for why they should give you a discount. But don't anticipate getting like a huge one and don't anticipate being able to pick this up for like around uh, 255, 257, because I don't see that uh, being plausible just based on everything we have, because there's a lot of pros to this. Um, 
that's pretty much everything I got, John, on this investment, man. I think this is a, a great investment opportunity. Uh, if you wanted to purchase this, you could go directly to the listing agents or you could have Holton Wise write the offer. Uh, if you've got any further questions on this investment, shoot them in the comments below, shoot me an email, whatever you want to do. As of right now, it's a private link, uh, but you could still comment on it and I'll see those. And when I make it public, other people would see them. So if it's private information that you just want to talk to me about, we can do it via email. Uh, solid deal though, man. I love the property. I love the work they did. I love the fact you don't have to really worry about anything. So it's super low risk. It truly really is like turnkey investing, right? You literally just fund the down payment, $82,500, and everything's already done for you. I do not anticipate Holt Wise having a hard time dealing with those tenants. You know, you got to be a, a pretty high quality tenant to live in a neighborhood, live in a property like this. So that's it, John. John from California. Thank you for purchasing another analysis from me. Uh, anybody else who's seeing this, a couple months after my man John already saw it, if you want to get an analysis like this, you just go on over here, guys. You go to holtonwise.com. You click the property for sale tab. First of all, you want to click the start here thing right there. That's going to subscribe you to my mailing list. If you want full-on analysis like this, but you don't want to pay for them, that's okay. I'm the number one seller of rental property in Cleveland, and every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll send you like a full video tour of all the properties I'm selling. But for those of you that are already on that list and you want more data or you find your own properties on the MLS like John did or maybe a wholesaler presented it to you and you want the knowledge that you're used to receiving on my daily emails, you just get an analysis like John did here. Here is a little fact. I'll tell you about the analysis, what I could do for you. Here are the prices. You know, I have several options. If you don't even know like the property yet, you just want me to find something, maybe on my daily emails, what you want, your criteria, it's not being met, I'll search the whole market. I'll, I'll try to find it for you. So that's all that. And if you want to see other property analysis that I've done for other clients, you just click right there and uh, you have the opportunity to view any other analysis that I've done uh, once the deals are closed, like once this property is sold and transferred title, that's when I release it publicly. Uh, the thing that John did on 4821 Bridge, letting it go out early, that's a rarity that usually doesn't happen. So again, guys, if you see John from California in the comments, I want you to show him the love, uh, give him a thanks. As a matter of fact, just, you know, if you watch that 41, 4821 Bridge video analysis, if you watch that, I want you to comment, thanks, John, in the comments of this videos. Show him the love, guys. Uh, that's everything I got for you. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management, We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. 
This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.